So a little bit of story about OP4 Bounce here, or just Bounce in Opposing Force, um, which came into the game on December 9th, 1999, the second last of the five uh, base Half-Life maps brought into Opposing Force. Um, I had first learned, like, you started really getting into, like, you know, mapping for Gold Source and a later, a little bit later Source. Um, and I found out about Win BSP, you know, that, that program where you can, like, you know, take a Quake BSP or I guess even a Gold Source BSP, decompile it back down into a map file. Or, like, I guess it was either that or whatever. No, it was map file. And you could use it in, like, you know, Hammer or something. And I thought, hey, you know, there's no bounce in Opposing Force as far as I knew, so I'm going to take it. And I, I'm gonna make I'm gonna put bounce in like you know opposing force because I really like the map bounce. Uh, if you've ever used uh, WinBSP to compile a gold source, decompile a gold source map, uh, you'll know it's dog shit. It fucking sucks. It's unusable basically. And especially when I was 13 and stupid and just learning how to use hammer. Yeah, that that did flare out. I worked hard on it for a night. Couldn't even get the map to compile properly and like light and anything like that. So I just gave up. Um, it's a good thing I didn't go through with that because someone already did that officially with opposing force here. Yeah, see? So yeah, that, that, that's the lesson in life. Don't try anything ever. I feel it's a little bit of a missed opportunity with this one because, you know, they don't really take advantage of the barnacle and stuff like that. This could have been an absolutely insane, absurd, chaotic map with, like, you know, race X gro growth everywhere and just, like, zipping around and stuff like that. But it's basically there and over there, and that's it. Uh, well, you'll see. You'll see. Anyway, so let's start up here. Let's start on this side of the map, or, like, right in the center. If you're up here, grab the Deagle, which there isn't too many. Actually, there might be a lot in this map, so never mind. You also got this little crevice still where, you know, you can do stuff. I tend to feel the slope physics on the cliff here is a little bit odd in Opposing Force here. Hard to explain, so I'm not even going to try to explain. I already give up. Um, so anyway, come up here. And of course, it's still the crossbow, not the uh, sniper rifle. Don't worry, that's over there. Um, yeah, you know, obviously snipe this up if you want to do that. Uh, as you can see, so yeah, that's basically there and there. That's it. I didn't even think over there there's a... Yeah, that's it. What a missed opportunity. You thought, imagine flying around and having a spawn with the barnacle, too. Like, you know, in Blue Meanie? That would have been absolutely insane. But regardless, let's not dwell on what could have been. Let's grab the machine gun instead here and the grenades. And you can also get up here, obviously, and grab some nice stuff. You can grab it, health kit, like health kits, stuff like that. Um, if you were to jump up there and, you know, not fuck this up because I fuck this up all the time. Yeah, there you go. Um, it's actually a little bit easier now, of course, to get up here. Because now you can just use the barnacle that you can get. Um, I think it's uh, sitting there, yeah, instead of an SMG, which is a better idea than an SMG in a long range kind of area anyway. You grab it there, get an easier time to get the rocket launcher here. Same with over here, so that's nice that they did that anyway. It just, you know, come on, you could have did so much more. So if you come on this side, um, you can do some nice stuff, obviously, you can grab still, you can grab some batteries, you know, grab the AR grenades and like the AR ammo, stuff like that, it's all good. It's all nice, it's fine, grab the shotgun. Have your little hiding area with the knife here. I always like every single map in like opposing force. It's like almost like, you know, like a standard that Gearbox set out that you have to put the knife like this. Always stuck in somewhere. It's great. I love it. Um, so yeah, come this way. Grab the, you know, the claymore. Grab the battery. It's good stuff. I feel that there's like there, there was a shotgun here originally and I think it got moved up to here. This area feels a little bit sparser than it originally did. Which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, so I'm not going to dwell on that. Let's go back over here, though, because there's something interesting about here. Uh, here's the most obvious displacer in history. I think I called the one in Undertow the most obvious. But yeah, right here. It's not even in a hidden area. It's just right here. Grab it. So maybe that's why this area is sparse, because I want you using the uh, displacer. But you know what's great? Remember that the guy, like, Egon's here, and we have a hate boner for the Egon and uh, Go Gearbox? Well, guess what they replaced it with? You guessed it, the Shock Troop. So if anyone's down here with you, surprise! 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 That's great. So yeah, we'll come back to that building in a little bit. We'll talk about this area first. Um, I don't think there's a shock roacher under the water here, which is, you know, that's sad. Really sad. But you still got these areas on the side with nothing on them, but they're good hiding spots, I suppose. Um, obviously, you could still come up this way. And if you come up this way, you actually have the revol the regular rev revolver still. So we didn't have a complete, you know, you know, revolver erasure. So that's great. I like that. Obviously, if you haven't played this map before, come this way to grab some shotguns and... Uh, Grenades, and this is where you can get the barnacle. That's cool. Um, yeah, see, there you go. Look how easy this is now. You know, see, again, it's just, I, I'm, I'm actually, I keep saying I'm not trying to dwell on it, but it really does feel like such a wasted opportunity not having, like, 50 spots. Like, look about, think about that. I could be zooming there. I could be zooming there. I could be zooming up there. Like, think about it. From the bounce pads, it's just, 
the, the 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 potential for mischief was there, and they just didn't follow up on it. I mean, at least they didn't get rid of all the freaking claymores. Like, I, I, I tend to notice the other, like, Half-Life into Opposing Force maps did. So that sucks. Anyway, let's get back up here real quick. So there you go. Here's everyone's favorite. I mean, you could just grab that. Well, I'm just... just I somehow spit on my glasses there. Sorry. Um, I mean, you could just, like, you know, come up this way and, like, you know, walk up and grab that, you know, sniper. But who's going to do that? lame -os. That's who's going to do that. So let's come back down this way real quick. And as you can hear, you see here, you get the wrench. Wrench is always nice. Miss that shot because you're an asshole like me. Let me just check. I don't think there's actually anything else down here. No, just the just the roach again. But you know, there's nothing wrong with that by any means. It's always proper. Um, and that's exactly where I wanted to go. So I didn't totally plan that. Thank you, game. Uh, this is where you grab the spore, which again, there's not enough spores for it in this map, so that kind of sucks. But it's there. It's fine. Um, grab the long jump here, which you know is still good, and use it to get over here to this fucking obnoxiously designed. Uh, little platform here because I can never jump up to this little area with the battery. You might as well put the displacer here like an Egon or the gauze or like you know the, the, the fucking holy grail up there considering how hard it is to jump there. But yeah anyway grab a satchel down there. You know obviously you can use the spore launcher down here so it makes this area a little bit more you know dynamic. And I think only two, the only the second of the two uh, desert eagles in the map is found here. So yeah they didn't go freaking totally uh, desert eagle crazy here. Oh yeah, this is still a lot of fun. Bounce is always a lot of fun, and it's probably a little bit better in this version with the opposing force stuff. But again, could have been a little bit even better. I like Peach looking at me. She likes so she's like a hungry animal trying to get to some food. It's absurd. I still miss that shot too. I think that's the most insane thing there. Wow. You obviously might not want to be hanging around too long out there in this little open area here because this is where the sniper rifle is. Why am I using this so close to me? But if we're on the topic of starting out the player with, like, you know, the barnacle, I would have also, if I was going to do that, I would have also started him out with the long jump, too. Again, just think about it. With, like, you know, the, like, the race X growth and, like, the long jump and the barnacle and, like, you know, the bounce pads, it should have been freaking insane. Like, you could have had an absolute, like, just, like, lad of a map here. I mean, it already kind of is, but you know what I mean. Okay, fine. I didn't notice that. That's on me. Still, though, you could have put one right there. I mean, you know, that's kind of dark. Are you really going to be looking up that far? No. 